Greetings, denizens of the digital world. It is I, the Serial Killer, coming to you on day 53 of the year of vlogging dangerously. Dangerously. Yes, I said it that way. And I may have said yesterday to remind me of something, and that would be the uh, to talk about the web programmer down. I did a web programmer in Iran that is currently being held pending execution as a traitor of the state. Now, this is a, uh, an Iranian Canadian um, who, you know, is living in, lives in Toronto, and he goes routinely back to uh, Iran to visit family. And before he goes back the latest time, he designs a piece of software, which is, um, this piece of software is an uploader for pictures. It's, it's a piece of code for a website so somebody can easily upload pictures. Now, what this got used for ultimately, um, after he had designed it and someone had purchased it, was for pornography. It was used for a porn site. Um, and because this young man was involved in the creating of a piece of software that ultimately became part of a porn site, he was deemed a, uh, I guess he was deemed heretical, um, he was deemed a traitor um, because he had participated in something sinful and evil, according to uh, uh, Islam. And he is now being held pending execution. Now, Amnesty International has a campaign to, re to have him released, um, which has been falling on deaf ears. The uh, file, his file has already been transferred to the part of the justice system in Islam, that uh, the part of the, uh, the, the system that um, commutes, uh, not, not commutes, not, uh, that um, processes executions and, and, and sentences and whatnot. So it, it's very close to happening. And all of this because the man designed something, he designed a piece of code that got used to be a, uh, to make a porn site. Now, I understand religious beliefs. I do. I understand faith. Um, I understand um, a little bit about Islam. I'm not going to say I'm an expert because I'm not. I'm not a member of uh, the Islamic faith. I'm not a Muslim. I don't really like talking religion in the first place, but uh, using religion as a pretense to make a statement against someone who doesn't do something you believe in is, and, and to execute a person for going against your interpretation of your faith is, is, it's wrong. It just strikes me as incredibly wrong. And the fact that they're executing a person over a piece of software is just absolutely and completely ludicrous. Now, I have nothing, nothing against uh, any individual person, well, I, I can't say any individual person from Iran. I have nothing against the Iranian people themselves. I, I'm not going to, I'm not one of those people who thinks they're out to destroy the world. I don't have anything against Islam, against Muslims. Um, I worry about the tensions that are now rising and the uh, the people in charge in Iran I'm worried about. Uh, uh, President uh, Ahmadinejad, I'm pronouncing that wrong. Probably, I'm, I'm worried about him. He seems a very like a very disingenuous person, um, someone who smiles and tells you everything is going to be okay, and that he's the right and good in the world. While really, he just wants to be in charge. He just and and I hate to to quote something that would seem, um, I don't know, a little bit trite in a case like this, but uh, sometimes uh, some people just want to watch the world burn, uh, as they said in uh, the, the latest Batman movie. You know, sometimes people just want to watch the world burn, and it seems to be the philosophy of um, the certain uh, certain people in power in Iran that the world needs to burn in order for them to find um, th this next awakening of their faith to for for their prophets to arise again um, for for them to return and it's if your faith is based on if if your interpretation of your faith is based on other people having to die that ain't right and uh, it's it's not it's 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 troubling 
Um, it worries me. Um, I can't say it doesn't, but I don't know. It just seems even more ridiculous when it's about a porn site. That the guy didn't design the porn site, the guy didn't upload the pornography, didn't film pornography, didn't do anything but build a piece of code that got used on a porn site. Hell, that would mean that by that extension, the person who first designed a way to, to build a website, the, the, the people who created HTML should be shot or hung or however they execute people in Iran, beheaded, whatever. That person, those people should be executed because they created the, the language which ultimately was used to implement that porn site. It, it, it's that kind of stupid slippery slopes thinking that this is and it's, it's ridiculous, it's weird and I don't understand it. I just don't. And wow, that's a downer of a subject, isn't it? Oh my god, that's a downer of a subject. You know what? Tomorrow's is going to be a lot more ridiculous, a lot less, you know, weighty. Hell, I'm just going to try not to be, you know, scatterbrained about something that's serious as fucking hell next time. And you know what? Uh, I have been the serial killer. Uh, I do these things to get you thinking as well as to get me thinking and to focus my thoughts. So I've been the Zero Killer. Questions, comments, concerns, and death threats, you know where to put them. Comments below. I don't know what to say. That's definitely a downer today.